Hello everyone, welcome to Chemzon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn some of the basic unit conversions and dimensions which are very important. Here in this uh, table, you can see the smallest of the smallest units like pico, femto, nano and the biggest of the biggest units like mega, giga, tera. So these are some of the very basic units which will be helpful to us. That is deci which is 10 raised to minus 1, centi which is 10 raised to minus 2, milli is 10 raised to minus 3, micro is 10 raised to minus 6, nano is 10 raised to minus 9, pico is 10 raised to minus 12 and accordingly femto is 10 raised to minus 15. So as we move on to the higher uh, units, conversions like kilo is 10 raised to 3, mega is 10 raised to 6, giga is 10 raised to 9 and tera is 10 raised to 12. Let us understand the application of this table in some of the very basic units. So volume, this is a very important physical property of uh, not only gases but uh, liquids and let us see like one liter is one decimeter cube you must know this is very important that one decimeter is one liter and one ml is one centimeter cube so here we can see one liter is one decimeter cube so in our previous uh, table we have seen that one decimeter is 10 raised to minus one meter so a whole of cube so 10 raised to minus 1 meter the whole of cube gives you 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube now let us prove this uh, equation that 1 liter is 1000 ml now 1000 ml is nothing but 1000 cm cube and 1 centimeter is 10 raised to minus 2 meter so accordingly 10 raised to minus 2 meter cube will be 10 raised to minus 6 so 10 raised to minus 6 into 10 raised to 3 is nothing but 10 raised to minus 3 cube meter cube which is same that we got for 1 liter. So in this way all these uh, basic unit conversions are very important. For example 1 deciliter, deci stands for 10 raised to minus 1. So deciliter is 1 into 10 raised to minus 1 liter. So let us see another unit. Pressure. So this is a physical property which is very very important which will be uh, useful in all the different chapters like chemical thermodynamics, chemical kinetics and gaseous state and many other chapters. So let us understand some very very basic unit conversions uh, which are asked in almost every exam. One ATM is the normal atmospheric pressure which is equal to 760 millimeter of mercury which is also equal to 760 torr and which is equal to 1.01325 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal which is also equal to 1.01325 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square here Pascal is nothing but the unit of pressure which is nothing but force upon area pressure is equal to force upon area that is Newton per meter square and another unit of pressure is bar that is one atmosphere is nothing but equal to 1.013 bar so these five or six unit conversions are very very important and will be useful in almost all the chapters that we will be learning further so another very important uh, unit is this universal gas constant which we get it from the ideal gas equation that is PV equal to NRT where we find out the units of R which is PV divided by NT so here in terms of joule ke per Kelvin per mole it is 8.314 and it is also equal to 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole liter is nothing but uh, we can write it in meter cube and pressure unit we can write it in Pascal so it is again same and then in, cal in terms of calorie it is 2 calorie per Kelvin per mole this is also very very important four units of universal gas constant which will be very much useful in all other chapters now let us understand some of the basic uh, dimensions of some few quantities which are very important so let us understand some of the formulas as well as the dimensions of some uh, physical properties like for example area and volume we all know area is length into breadth and volume is length into breadth into height accordingly the 
dimensions are L2, L stands for length and here L3 that is meter cube. The very very important uh, unit in this table is this work or energy. Work is nothing but force into displacement and then we have to find out the unit of force that is nothing but mass into acceleration for that we must know the unit of acceleration that is acceleration is nothing but meter per second square so in this way all these uh, units are very important uh, in um, many of the chapters like chemical thermodynamics and uh, kinetics and many other chapters in this table again the pressure which is force upon area then moment of inertia i equal to m r square which will be again useful in rotational spectra and then frequency which will be useful in uh, photoelectric effect and many other chapters we will encounter frequency in uh, spectra as well again here again you can see there are some of the units which are important like force constant which will be helpful in vibrational spectra then you have uh, specific heat and latent heat which will be encountering it in chemical thermodynamics so you can just go through all the units and uh, it will be very helpful in the future again here you can see universal gas constant comes in gaseous state and many other chapters charge current then resistance conductance all this will be useful in uh, electrochemistry then again specific resistance resistivity that is nothing but r a upon l rho equal to r a upon l accordingly we get the dimensions then uh, conductivity or specific conductance then uh, all these these two properties uh, will be helpful in again electrochemistry when we will study conductance then uh, electric dipole moment that is nothing but q into 2 l which will be useful when we find out the dipole moment of some organic molecules so here we come to the end of today's lecture